But what's going on guys average tech guy here and today we are back with more tech more reviews this time we're going to be looking at the seagate backup slim plus one terabyte model and we're going to be using it with our ipad featuring ipad os let's see how fast this thing is so i got a lot of requests for the seagate to be reviewed um, on my channel. This is a hard drive, not an SSD. So I've normally been doing SSDs, but let's talk about this for a little bit. Um, very simplistic form factor. You get an LED light up front and you get your USB. Now this comes in the pack. It only runs off of this USB um, dongle right here. So plugging it in, you're gonna plug it in, USB 3.0, USB 2.0. That's how it's gonna work. No USB type C over here. Fastest speed I've seen on this, I've done a little research and I, the only speed I can find is anywhere from like 225 megabytes per second to 235 megabytes per second. I'm guessing that depends on what day of the week it is. I'm not sure. I don't have a whole lot of files, big files, big folders, anything on my iPad right now, but I, I do want to try and see what could basically be the outcome if we try to transfer some data on using this. Some of the reviews said it's extremely slow. So we're just going to see how that works. So I'm going to test it out for you guys and let you know. Now this is going to run you about 55 bucks. I think I paid about anyway. I think I paid about 55 bucks for it, but it's one terabyte. It's a storage unit. It's a hard drive, not a solid state drive. Once you plug it in, your LED light comes on and you can kind of feel it doing this little work thingy. I'm gonna go into my files and backup plus, and there we go. So this is it right here. This is the backup plus. It has all your startup stuff. Now, mainly for Mac, for Windows, you can actually go in here and use startup. You can uh, do your password protection, all that stuff like that. But on our iPad, we're just worried about can it transfer and can it, can it transfer and can it receive? That's what we're worried about. So on my iPad, I have one little video right now. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do for you guys? I'm gonna break the SSD out and I'm gonna transfer a humongous folder or a humongous file over in here. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm all done with that. Got the video over. I'm just gonna plug the hard drive back up. I'm gonna let it power up and do its little thing. Now we know these hard drives use a, a decent amount of power, but the iPad can can take care of it and handle all that. I'm gonna take this, go to my movie. Now I just did a gigabyte, so 1.28 gigs, and we're going to send it over. We're gonna move that down to the backup plus, and we're gonna copy it. Hey Google, set a two-minute timer. Two minutes. Starting now. Okay, so I went ahead and set a two-minute timer. And we're gonna see how and we're gonna see how long this actually takes. So it's still spinning. So remember it was like one gigabyte, a little bit over a gig, maybe almost two gigs for that video. And we're just gonna let it go out. Let me see, we got our timer back here counting down. Still waiting, still waiting. Whew. Okay, so while we're waiting, I'm gonna talk to you about this because if I, if I have to wait this long for a gigabyte, I have some videos and folders that are like four and six gigs. So right now, <laughs> Right now, even with this time, okay. Hey Google, stop timer. All right, cancel. Okay, so it didn't take terribly long, but still longer than I really would like it to be. And it was only 1.28 gigs. So still a little bit longer. It's not horrible and you are getting one terabyte for 50 bucks. So if you don't mind the weight, 
you know, just a little bit, it may be an okay device for you. But for me, I like mine to go kind of like that. So I'm going to stick with my SSD for right now. But for you guys who do not mind that speed um, difference, go pick you up one of these. You get a whole terabyte of space for only 50 bucks. So I think it's a pretty good deal if you don't mind the speed. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not the fastest, but it does. It, it was under two minutes. So like I said, not the fastest, but not the slowest. Um, pretty decent. So I'll drop a link below so you can go check this out for yourself. Remember, this is the Seagate Backup Plus Slim one terabyte model. About 50 bucks. If you don't mind the speed, go out and check it out. Pick you up one. You will need an adapter because it only works with USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.